Okay. Uh, thank you for visiting the Toshiba Materials Technical Booth in PCIM. I'm Masayo Shiyamoto, uh, the Power Electronics Laboratory in Nagoya University, Japan. Okay. I will present, from now, I will present the Toshiba Materials two solutions for the power semiconductor devices, silicon carbide power semiconductor devices applications. One is the ceramic base plate for the silicon carbide packaging. And another one is the ceramic ball for bearing. So first of all, we will discuss the, this ceramic base plate. Okay, so in fact, they're already applying for the Toshiba materials uh, solution have been applying for the Tesla's Model 3, their famous electric vehicle. The, I will show you the, this one is uh, one of the solutions, Tesla's inverter. And uh, power semiconductor devices, all silicon carbide have been applied, 24. And uh, this inverter is very thin. In spite of the uh, around the 200 kilowatt, but very thin because of the, the ceramic base plate have been applied. So, this material contributes to the thin, high power density performances in Tesla's Model 3, the Tesla's Model 3 inverters. Because uh, in case of the Tesla Model 3, inverter invert and motor and uh, different gear is the, the e axles have been applied in the on the drive shaft, so the space is limited, so required high power density performance. So they have applied the ceramic base plate. Very good combination for the silicon carbide power semiconductor devices application. And the next generation electric vehicle will require more higher power density performance because the battery pack space is required for long distance driving. So for the solution is the ceramic base plate from that Toshiba materials, okay? And the next solution, Next is just uh, silicon carbide power devices have the, uh, some problem. That is a high DVDT occur the bearing current. Bearing current occur and directly influence to the corrosion for the bearing. So I will talk about that one. The, in case of the silicon power devices, uh, conventional one, the, DVD, the switching speed is low. The transient is low. The VDS means the switching power devices, the drain source across the voltage, that means the VDS. In case of silicon carbide, Power devices, the VD is the, the transient is the very high, so the DVDT is increased. DVDT increase mean the bearing current increase. In case of the bearing current increase, the this bearing current influence to the corrosion of bearing. For the problem, Toshiba material solution is the using the ceramic ball in the 
for the bearing. In case of the motor drive applications, I will show you the ceramic ball, the conventional one, and ceramic ball one. This is a comparative movie of the conventional bearing and Toshiba materials solution bearing. This, this is a conventional one and the steel ball using the conventional steel one ball. And this one is a ceramic ball. This ceramic ball can achieve the isolation or the motor driving shaft and inverter side. So that's why the reducing the bearing current. Okay. Okay. Today I have explained the Toshiba materials two solutions for the silicon powered power semiconductor devices application for electric vehicle. Next generation, we will require that these two solutions so we can prepare that solution for the next generation near future electric vehicle applications. Thank you very much for joining our technical booth. Thank you very much.